Right. Hello, you lot. This is Creamy. Steve borrowed Creamy a little while ago because he wanted to see what it was like to drive an old van, a 50-year-old van. He's thinking he's going to get rid of his perfectly good T5.1 camper van and have one of these as a day driver. We found one. We found one three pints in and we went and had a look at it. This is what we found. So when we first started filming, almost a year ago now actually, we started out with the Daily Drivers, which was... Creamy. Red. Mitch. So we were looking at the reality of driving those old vans on a daily basis, and it was fun. It was an eye-opener. For Adam, certainly, he just started driving Volkswagen. Got to sit in the field, drink beer. <laughs> Almost went over. And then really since then, not much has changed. A bit more sitting in fields, a bit more drinking beer. A few more subscribers, thank you very much. If you want to check out those vids, I'll put a link down below to those ones. Anyway, check them out. Let's go and see what we can find. There you are, we're nearly at Steve's. Now, Steve, so inspired by our videos, or he's having a midlife crisis, I will let you guys decide. Comments below. Steve is a nice guy. Nice house, nice T5, uh, T5.1. Steve's first venture in a T2 didn't quite go according to plan. Okay. Go left. What you couldn't quite see was our bowels emptying into our pants all in one moment. Little old man decided to do a three-point turn in front of us, obviously didn't see us. And uh, Steve decided that swerving was much better than stopping. Anyway, the stains have not yet come out. Morning, Steve. Good morning. Why T5? So T5.1. Sorry. Is, uh, Why T5.1? It's, it's a good drive. Uh, you can drive it like a normal car. I mean, it's just like a, a big car. It's got a massive tank. It's easy to park. It's nice and warm car as well when you sleep in it because it's a camper. It's insulated throughout. It's got a heater in it as well, so you can use it all the time. Braking's good in it because they're electronic brakes. It's pretty punchy as well. I had the engine uh, remapped, so it's up to 140, 150. It's reliable. Yeah, it's reliable as well, and the fuel economy is good. So it's a good car. And you're willing to give all that up? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye bye. Not technically get rid of because um, the gangster that Steve is, he's giving it to his mum and dad. <laughs> so we better get on a mission. Let's go and find Steve his new daily. I'm excited. Let's do this. Let's do this right now. Right now? Right now. All right, right now. Right now. Right now. I think we've got what we need, Steve. I think so. Recovery truck? Yeah, check. Coffee? Check. More coffee? Double check. Uh, pokey thing? We need one of them. For looking underneath. Mm -hmm. uh, a bit of cardboard? Of course. Torch? Yeah. Cash? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Cash is a good idea. Well, that's it, we're on a mission. So, Steve works for a fairly large global drugs baron. <laughs> and as such, he's pretty loaded. However, he has set himself a budget of what, 10K ish? Ish, yeah. 10K ish. Last night, Steve decided to send me a link to something he'd found. And I thought it'd be a good idea to go to the pub mm. and discuss. Always a good idea. Do you think it's a good idea, Stephen? Always, always. Whatever you do, three pints in, anything is a good idea. We're going to go look at a van in the morning. Yeah, we are. So from that, 
we've kind of decided today to go and have a look at it, right? All, all of a sudden we're in a van going to buy one. Yeah. Or look at one. T5's gone off the drive, something to put in place. Yeah, a all daily right. driver. Let's go. Let's do it! Nah. Morning, boys. Morning. I thought before we go, we would get top tips from the boys that know on what to look for when you're buying a van off eBay drunk. Yeah. Good look at those tubes. Both sides. Okay. The mounts, not the end of the world, but have a look anyway. Yeah. Seals can be a pain. Always look at the seatbelt mounts up here. Ah. And the bottom of the post back there. Okay. Everything else. As usual main points. Easy. A general check along the entire chassis would be a good idea. I think it's yeah. a I'll oh, care for that might be off. I think it's a bit of a I'll care for that might be off. Okay. Rust. 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 Alright then, let's hit the road, Jack. Steve. Steve. Dave. Fred. Fred. We're on the way, though. Yeah. Yeah, we are. Well, bit of a detour, but we're on the way. Yeah, Steve's uh, map reading was fairly non existent. I kind of knew where we went. I said, let's go that way. As in, we went past it. So sorry about that. We drink more coffee? Yeah, let's do one. More coffee. Still excited. We just thought we'd stop. We thought we'd stop and have a coffee, to be fair. But we thought we'd stop and chat about some of the things we've done on route so far, haven't we? We've done them all, Steve, all of these things. We have, we've done everything. HBI check. Done. Not stolen? No, um, No, it is. <laughs> we had a look at historical MOTs. Although, of course, this one is um, tax exempt, 1971 van, and it's had some MOTs, but it doesn't obviously need them. But they all check out, and nothing major to be fair. It's all. Um, no, it's lights. Yeah, lights and nothing to do with resto stuff. And that was on an app called. That's vehicle smart. And it's very useful. And it's free. It's free unless you don't want to spend money on the other bits that will give you more information. But for what we needed, also tallies in with the mileage. It all, it all worked out, didn't it? Yeah, all tied up. Yeah, yeah. Yep. All made sense. So we looked at that. Had a look and see what year the car came into the country. And again, that all sits correctly with um, what the guy has told us, what Simon's told us. So all in all, unless there's any major problems, the actual van itself seems pretty kosher. Yeah, I would say that, yeah. So, we've got our pokey things ready to have a bit of a prod underneath. So we've got a few bits to check when we get there, if yep. we remember. Yeah, V5. We want to check the serial number on the van checks with the V5. Check the V5 is in the owner's name. We're also going to check that uh, plate uh, against the VW records. On oh, the, the M plate, plate, uh, M plate decoder would be quite handy to have a look at. That'll give us a bit more info. Tells you bits like what sort of factory stuff it left with, whether it was single cab, whether it had extra lights, extra seats or number of seats. Um, what colour it is. But that again is, here's the link to that. It's the M plate decoder. I'll tell you what, I put it in M plate decoder, VW hyphen M plate dot com. Find your van, bang in the details, and it outputs it. Very good. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. Very good, very nice. Very handy little tool. So I guess here's the thing, right? So yes, we were a bit drunk. Gung ho. Last, a bit gung ho. Yeah, not drunk. We are a bit gung ho last night. But the bottom line is Steve hasn't put a deposit down on this van. Oh, a pound. Oh, a pound. Just so the bank thing goes through. It's quite a good idea, actually, if you're going to do a backs thing. Chuck a pound in the account first, and then when you get there, your money will transfer across straight away, hopefully, if it's, if it's there in the first place. <laughs> One of the things we wanted to make sure of is that we can ask as many questions as we want to, but the reality is you've just got to go and have a look. Now, Steve could have put a deposit down, could have chucked a thousand pound or 1500 quid or whatever that essentially means you've bought it and that's a really good thing to think about putting a deposit down means i bought it and i'll give you the rest of the money when i get there not i bought it and now i'm going to haggle when i get there and this is obviously something majorly unwritten as long as it fits the description i would say you've bought it if you get there and the description doesn't fit at all with the actual um the vehicle yeah. then i think you deserve to maybe have a chat with whoever's selling it but ultimately you bought it and the other side of it is that People listing these vans, there's only so much information they can give you, and they may not negate to give you stuff, they just forget. There's another small point as well with these old vans. If you are buying right at the top of your budget, don't buy it. Whatever happens, that van, that vehicle, that car, whatever it is, will break down. It's a given. So if you're already right at the top of your money, 
then it's only going to be a headache. So keep some in reserve if you can. Or when it does go wrong, at least you know that you haven't got any money to do anything with it. These are sometimes 30, 40, 50 year old vehicles. And if it was made before Madonna was a virgin, when was that? Probably the 80s. Well, probably earlier than that. There you go. <laughs> if it was made before Madonna became a non-virgin, make sure you've got some money left to spend fixing it. And the other side of that as well is if you've bought it, you've committed to it, you've driven off down the road and the engine goes pop, you've bought it. Unless you've negotiated some kind of warranty or test, you know, test in the first week or whatever it might be, then you've bought that vehicle. So if it's coming down the road, engine goes pop at the end of the drive, it's tricky. What do you do? They might be good enough and turn around and um, help you out a bit, but ultimately they don't really need to or have to. That's the nature of buying anything really i guess when it goes wrong unless it's brand new and it comes under its own warranty so there's something to be thought about there sold as seen means sold as seen should we go and see what they got yeah all right let's do it ciao ciao excited stevie yeah it's an excited man yeah, <laughs> yeah. about to throw his really simple straightforward drive so maybe a not so forward. Not so forward thinking drive. <laughs> uh, I think it's right up this one. <gasps> okay, I see guys. it, I see it. You see it? I've seen it. Have you? Yeah. Where? Up here on the left. Ah! Can't see it, that's a bin. <gasps> that looks like it. That's it. There you go. This is what we came to look at. First impressions, <laughs> it looks pretty sweet and um, I think this is the difference. It's well worth getting in a truck, driving a few miles and coming and have a look because you just can't tell. And sometimes what looks great in photos actually looks awful when you get there. But this one, pleasingly, looked great in photos and is great. So we're going to take a closer look. Uh, all the paperwork, so that's a good start. And um, it's also got the original paint colour in there, so we can have a nose and see what that would have been. Sort of more of a grey, I think they would have called it. Let's see what she, uh, see what she sounds like. Looks like a bit of a rock box, Steve, don't yeah, you reckon, mate? Yeah, and he's, yeah. he's not, he's not totally. looked after it, is he, you know? <laughs> totally. No, well. well. It would be fair to say, Si, this has been a love of your life, and now you've got to uh, get on and do some work. That's disappointing to see. No, absolutely. But, um, but you yeah. can see you transferring smiles. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You don't quite know what you're doing, do you, Steve? <laughs> no, but not at all. I think. Uh, <laughs> but, so we'll tell you a bit more about this. We've got the paperwork. We can have a read of that. And if Steve obviously uh, goes for this, we'll. Maybe chat with you about it on the way home, down the motorway. We hope, fingers crossed. Are you willing to sacrifice the T5 heating? Sorry, T5.1. Yeah, T5.1. Yeah, yeah. I can do the heating with this one. Three seats? Yeah. I've got a feeling there's gonna be quite a few yeses to these. What about the fact you can't go camping in the back of it? Oh, I could sleep in the back. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's Ish. a yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> yes. I think you're pretty made up on this now, right? I love it. I love it. It's absolutely wicked. <laughs> yes. So what do you reckon? You're going to give the man some money? I am indeed. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Happy days. Cash in the bank. Is that right, Steve? Yeah, baby. No way. Look <laughs> at your first bus, man. Pretty mega. Good purchase. Good purchase, good man. Superstar help. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah.
new trousers, please, Vicar. Oh, yeah. That's got to work, hasn't it? Steve, you do realise that once you put a nut job sticker on any van, it belongs to me. <laughs> you, you wish. <laughs> Have you bought it? Yes. You COVID? <laughs> oh, you want an actual handshake? Yeah. Got the glove. There it is. Oh, go on. Shit. You, sir. I have not seen one of those in how long? Good done. Thank you ever so much. Subaru, Sam, first Subaru. Woohoo. Nice. Happy nice. boys? Happy. A bit of mixed emotion, Si? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Going to a good home. That's if we get it home safely in one piece, Steve. Well, I think the directions will be right. <laughs> nice. Do you know what? Absolutely outstanding. Really happy. Look at that on the back. Oh, you see it? Yeah, you can see it on the back. Well done. What have you done? I purchased. Yeah. Too, baby. Update. Yes. Still on, Steve. It's still there. I'm quite happy. We've done what? 100 we're, miles this way? We're almost off the 25. Yes, you can hear it over there. There we go. Still on. Still there. Let's get home. Back. Successful mission. Steve is behind the camera. And again, he's still grinning. <laughs> we're gonna get her off and... Um, Go down the pub. Yeah, that's actually exactly what we're gonna do. <laughs> cool. Yeah, you're gonna make it. Yeah, you made it. It's over. haven't actually spoken to Steve since he's had the van. We're gonna go and say hello. See if he's still got the van. Ugh, the tire's soaking, man. How are you finding the ride? Oh, it's awesome. It's, it's nice and flat. Uh, it's a bit low, but it's good. A bit low. <laughs> yeah, bit low. You bought a low van. Yeah, oh yeah, there was that, yeah. Is it not really, is it quite soft or is it when you hit a bump or? It's bumpy on the edges of the roads, but apart from that, it's all right in the middle. Yeah, it's all good. It's I just had this idea like. that it was going to like, every time you slam down, oh my God, we got punch out. That's, that's <laughs> <not good>. <laughs> 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 oh, how does this happen? Like a rock. Oh, hard? Yes, how as hard? in solid. How hard? That hard, really hard. Really? What, are, what are we doing? <laughs> that's right. I just thought of that. That's, that's, that um, one isn't. <laughs> that's not great at all. We no. might have to go very quick, get back to our shop. All right, that's pretty good. Let's go and do the bit in the barn, in the farm, in the garage. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, right, I'm in some Let's have a look then, Steve. It fits in. Just about. You have to ram it in there? No, it went in just. It oh, look, it's a pickup truck and it's <laughs> full of crap already. Exactly. Well, I couldn't get rid of it in the loft, it's already in the back. So Check it out. It's good, isn't it? Beautiful. Absolutely love it. Runs like a dream. I was curious if it would still be here. But this is a nice one. I'm used to driving old knackers, I would say. <laughs> You're enjoying it? Love it. Absolutely. Oh, look, it. I need a microphone. So, Steve, so, how's it been? Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, so I love the ride. Is it easy? How's the van? Oh, that's good as well. Yeah. It's a shiny pickup, isn't it? It is a shiny pickup. It's shiny, beautiful. How is every day going? I'll tell you what, mm. can we, not in any sort of stalker way, can we follow you around mm. and see how it pans up totally. to the, uh, the old T5.1? Totally, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll do that. We will come back, follow Steve around, and hopefully, he's still smiling. I think he probably will be. Oh, yeah. So, day two, loving the van. No, that van. Could not sleep last night. Massive heart pump on my face. 
massive heart of Kong. Look at my face all night last night. Love it, absolutely love it. She's had the boys have a quick look at it as well. And I'm ready to roll. Massive heart of Kong.